So you're thinking about buying a Reaper and you're um, going to the dealership and trying to see which unit is the best for you. Should you go with Thermal King? Should you go with Carrier? I'm trying to go over um, key points th on Thermal King and Carrier units so you can um, and consider it the both options and see which one you like the most. So, uh, Thermal King uh, comes as uh, Thermal King S600, S700, and C600. The C600 is uh, 7 year compliance, and the S600 and the S700 are for FDO compliant. Usually, uh, if you buy the C600, there's about six to uh, seven thousand dollar difference between the price um, compared to the S six hundred and the S seven hundred. For carrier, there is Victor sixty five hundred. There is the uh, seventy three hundred carrier and the seventy five hundred carrier. Um, these are all seven uh, seven year models. However, you can buy the filter and have it put on when you buy the unit. So these are the t uh, the uh, models that Carrier and Thermal King sells. So um, if you uh, have a preference over Thermal King or Carrier, Thermal King is very reliable. They do tend to last a long time. Um, and the other uh, consideration that uh, they're really good on produce, fresh produce. They hold the temperature well. Uh, if you end up buying the C600 and the S600, they're mainly good for produce. If you haul a lot of frozen loads, like uh, ne ice cream, negative 20, negative 10, zero, and uh, 110. 10 temperature outside 120 temperature then you might want to consider the S700 which is designed for frozen units uh, frozen loads with carrier uh, there's the S7 and uh, there's the 7300 the 7500 uh, 7300 is the all-around model it holds the frozen very well and it holds the produce very well if you uh, if you want the uh, if you want overkill for frozen, then you get the seventy five hundred. Carriers do tend to control the negative temperatures very well. It doesn't matter if it's uh, 110, 120 outside. It will bring it down to zero, negative ten, negative twenty. Um, with care uh, with Thermo King. Um, it tends to deviate um, in those negative temperatures when temperature is hot outside. Um, carrier does tend to be louder than Thermo King. So if you're an owner operator and you want to buy a carrier, then that's something you want to consider because you, it is louder than Thermo King and it might disturb you in your sleep. If um, you don't have a vent, a well insulated truck. Um, main uh, thing it comes down to is the repairs. Carriers, uh, parts are much cheaper to buy, and also the labor is cheaper on carrier. Thermal King, when it, g it gets into the shop and you're out of warranty, the parts are really expensive. And also, the labor is expensive. So that's something that you want to consider when you're buying Carrier versus Thermal King. In the long run, they both last uh, about the same time. Uh, as same, they they can easily run to twenty five thousand hours, thirty thousand hours with the original compressor and the engine with no problem. 
with um, main thing is uh, with carriers if you end up getting a fuel efficient truck which has a very short wheelbase and, and the unit gets tucked in between the trailer and the tractor the fairing uh, are um, very large like 20 inches 25 inches uh, side fairings on the tractor and it doesn't allow any air to come inside uh, while traveling carriers have the uh, the coils in the middle if you look at it the condenser coils are in the middle um, what happens is if you got 120 130 temperature in the hills and it doesn't have enough air crossing uh, the unit tends to shut down um, and you might have to uh, you can get it to a truck stop and hose the condenser um, the coils down to cool it down that's the main issue with carrier because the condenser coil is the in the middle and it's and if you have a truck that has a very short wheelbase and it doesn't allow enough air to hit the unit it does tend to turn off in really hot temperatures if you got a tractor with a long wheelbase then you have uh, enough air hitting the unit and it won't shut off on you. With Thermoking, the condenser coil is on on the left side, the driver side, and the air does tend to get in there very nicely and it doesn't have that issue. Another thing is uh, when it comes down to servicing these units like filter change, oil filter, oil filter, air filter change on these units. Thermoking uh, the filters uh, does cost a lot more than carrier carriers uh, between thermoking and carrier and the filter uh, price will be difference of uh, like 30 30 or 40 dollars if you get filters for a carrier it will be like around 50 dollars or 40 dollars 45 a thermocon will be like 85 90. So that's the price difference between the filters. Also, the belts for the carrier unit. The belts might all the belts all the belts might cost only forty five dollars. With Thermoking, it will cost around 110 120 dollars. So um, overall, they are very well made units, and um, you won't have any network issues. On the road because carrier has a large network and Thermo King has a large network. These units uh, are very reliable. Engineering is very good. However, uh, maintenance cost on a Thermo King is a lot more than carrier. Uh, carrier is also a lot more noisier than Thermo King. So it's totally up to you uh, which one you prefer. Also, I forgot to talk about the Victor 6500 unit. That one, eh, I believe, is a little bit uh, less noisier. It has electric compressor, and um, it, it is designed to uh, cool. It's, it's not meant to be frozen loads, but it can handle frozen loads. It's a lot more fuel efficient than 7300. I do own uh, the uh, C600 and the 7500. The fuel uh, consumption is about the same. Uh, they're very fuel efficient. Um, they do te hold the temperature really well. But uh, just the servicing cost is a lot more, uh, a lot higher in thermoking versus carrier. So that's something you want to consider before you buy a, end up buying a unit. I hope this helps you guys and you guys have a good day. Bye.